You know, lucky for us, we're doing the show today, as we always do, from a nice air-conditioned studio. That's but right. with it being summertime, it's hot. A lot of folks talking about uh, vacations, too. And you know, Troy, sometimes it's good to think outside the box when you're trying to plan a vacation. That's true, because a lot of folks, you know, of course, they love the beach, the mountains. But you've got a story you're about to tell us about a different type, though. That's right. You might want to take your family and visit a local farm. It's called agritourism, and it's a bustling and growing new industry. It is a great way to see where some of your local food comes from and your dollars, how they're helping the local economy. Farm Week's Zach Ashmore spent some time at an agritourism workshop recently. He shows us how the people there learned some tips to get people buzzing about their farm. Agritourism is proving it can bring dollars and jobs to rural areas of Mississippi, but it takes marketing to make it happen. Growing your brand is how extension specialists and other speakers describe the task for farmers and landowners at this recent workshop. Betsy Rowell says she liked what she heard. And this is very interesting to uh, come and hear what some other rural communities are doing, uh, opportunities that we have to share um, our farms. And we do have some in Stone County that uh, we're looking to create a little bit of a, a tourism bud, uh, buzz with. Um, but this was very interesting. I met some folks that are probably a little bit beyond the, pro the point that we are in our process, so it was uh, quite beneficial. In addition to learning what others have accomplished, there were practical how-to sessions, including using social media, building effective websites, and creating virtual tours. It was practical information the operators could take home and put to use right away. I had come originally just to network and meet farmers and small growers and providers and small business owners in the state, and in turn I learned a lot about managing my nonprofit and, and things I can do to expand and grow and, and ways to use social media and, and reach out to other people. and kind of just increase that feeling of community we have here. Andy Lemon and others at the workshop were given a behind the scenes look at real life examples of local foods agritourism in South Mississippi. The group visited Country Girl Creamery, Redgate Bison Ranch, and Shroomdom. The owners at each location spoke about what they're doing right and what challenges they faced along the way. For Poplarville, Mississippi, I'm Zach Ashmore reporting. And you can stay up to date on programs like this by visiting our website, extension.msstate.edu. Just click on the Community tab. And you heard Zach mention the Redgate Bison Ranch in that story. Coming up here on Farm Week, our own Amy Taylor Myers will be visiting that ranch. So you'll want to watch for that story in the coming months.